I'm a big street biker um, and I'm super wrapped to be here today. So I grew up uh, riding bikes in Christchurch, um, racing bikes and all, but um, I wasn't very good at it, I was more into rock and roll. <laughs> and, um, but, so at Canterbury University I used to, my theory uh, for having a bike was just have the rustiest, oldest thing and just sort of leave it lying around and hope no one would steal it. Um, but the sort of um, laissez-faire attitude you can't do today if you have an electric bike, you know, it's something that's quite expensive, it's your mode of transport and you want to rely on it. Um, so something like a locky dock becomes a really important part of the infrastructure and fabric of our city. Um, and that in terms of the major barriers to get car commuters out of their um, carbon puffing metal slugs and onto bikes, um, there's like two really simple barriers that we've learned. And one is um, uh, the fear of having the bike stolen, and two is um, not knowing that there are a whole lot of awesome bike paths around. Um, so what we've been is what, with a locky dock, we help address some of those problems and make this again part of the sort of fabric of the city. Our dream is that um, this self-sustaining model, this combination of locky docks, rechargeries and affordable biker plans um, will help galvanise um, the movement from cars to carbon zero transport for happy, healthy uh, streets that are prosperous uh, and lively across Aotearoa. Um, this is a post-COVID, post-carbon world that we want to create and it feels like this is, can be as a small but a a highly visible thing that can sort of uh, instigate that, that economy and culture and community that we really want to see. Um, so, uh, koto roro, ko tako, toka, ko toku taku roro, ka, uh, ka ora e te iwi. So that's like, with your contribution and uh, my contribution, we'll all survive and thrive together. Um, so it's with great pleasure. To uh, um, introduce uh, Julian Genta here, the Honourable Julian Genta, so Minister of uh, Associate Minister of Transport and Health, and uh, and um, Minister for Women. Really exciting to come down here today uh, to open up the Locky Docks, which are going to provide secure place for people to lock their e-bikes and charge them. I was on this webinar, an international webinar, last night uh, with people in Europe. We were talking about cycling and how during COVID-19 there's been this incredible increase in cycling right around the world. And it was a trend that had already started, a quiet revolution, uh, particularly pushed on by electric bicycles and how they make cycling accessible to people who wouldn't have been able to do it before or who wouldn't have wanted to go as far because of headwinds or hills. Um, and we know that just like in other countries here in Aotearoa and New Zealand, the e-bike business is booming. And while we were in lockdown, uh, people were out there looking to buy bikes or dusting off the bikes they have and getting out for the first time in a long time. And so this quiet revolution is something that can make our cities healthier and happier. They can make it more affordable for people to get around. And I, I'm just so passionate about what an incredible opportunity it is for our cities um, to respond to climate change. And now that we're through uh, the, hopefully completely through our wave of COVID-19 here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, it's time for us to keep up the momentum and really enable people to cycle safely. Here in Otatahi Christchurch, um, the city council and the regional council have been instrumental in supporting alongside New Zealand Transport Agency um, some of the, the longest network of separated cycleways that we have in New Zealand. And that has proven that when you provide that safe separated infrastructure, more people feel safe to get out on their bikes. More women feel safe to get out on their bikes. I think Christchurch now has the highest percentage of women using bikes for ordinary trips of anywhere in New Zealand. E-bikes are incredibly popular amongst women and people over the age of 65. So e-bikes literally booming with the boomers. It's great. Um, and I think that the Lucky Dog concept, what I particularly like about it is how it, it starts to reach out and be part of a community conversation, helping people get around their neighborhood um, and sending those, those great positive messages, but also making it kind of even more shiny and interesting uh, to people who aren't total bicycle nerds like me. 
So um, fantastic to be here today. Um, thanks to everyone who's helped make it happen and look forward to seeing a lot more of these around Aotearoa, New Zealand.